forth is already hosting me. Thanks, friend. Hey. Hey friends, okay, I'm back, I'm back. All right, I've been working on configuring my settings and all these good things because, um, yeah, we got a new computer we're working with. Not only do we have a second monitor as of about a month ago, but now we also have an upgraded laptop, a gaming laptop, Lenovo. So yeah, we're gonna play some more Half-Life and see how it runs on this beast because it was even working okay on my older computer, but I felt like, um, might as well go for the best quality possible. Make sure that I got my chat up one second here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, sometimes I like to make sure they got things uh, situated properly. Sometimes it takes all day just to get things set up and ready to go. So, lucky okay, us, we're here, we're here. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna figure out how to transfer our saved game files from the other computer onto this one. So, here we go. This is my first time playing any Half-Life game. Fourth session, I believe. So not my first session of my first time, but my first full playthrough. And who knows where I left off yesterday? But I pointed in this direction, so just try to remember. Obviously, this is a classic. someone said to me, remember this game, person by person, it's like the entire game by every person, that's what we're going for. Oh, check out this awesome looking mode. So, I don't remember where I left off, but there's a bridge, here's this. Boat through this last night? I think I did. So many cool puzzles and ramps in this game. I don't know all that much about this game yet, but I do know that it's got a lot of cool ramps. Yesterday I learned how to get this awesome number of uh, like shortcuts for my weapons. I thought those were toilets for a second there. Kind of glad to see that they are not. What's in this big thing? This looks like a helicopter landing spot. So maybe if we're lucky we'll get a helicopter to come pick us up. If this was GTA we would just like call our call our helicopter. <laughs> or our blimp. Hey look at is that health? I think it is, but it's like in that gross like slime.
Got health right after I exploded a bomb right in my face. Okay, let's get that bomb back. Where are you? Were those the only guys that you already came out of me? Stuff, supplies, and things. Hello, friends. Yeah, yeah. Ammo core. God damn. If I walk into that thing, I seriously show it out of out of the way. Jeez. I don't have to press down function to press F6. Let's save. The other computer, I kind of needed like two hands to save. This one, only need one. What changed out here? <laughs> okay, we powered up, we got health and stuff. Okay, usually there's like some kind of cool puzzle. Oh, there's some more dudes. Okay, to zoom, you press Z just like in 3D Max when you're making 3D models. I guess those other guys out there did not hear me blasting their buddy. Hey, crazy gamer, thank you for that host, buddy. Nice to see you. Parked our boat. Let's go over here. Observation. I'll give you something to observe. Calling back your boat like you can, like call back your uh, mouse in some games. <laughs> Here, boat, boat, boat. Okay, hey, we're full health again. Save.
Wherever the hell I left my boat. I feel like it's like over here somewhere. Auxiliary powers the this and below. Okay. This is how we got up here with our boat before. Oh, look at it. A ladder. Friend, so clever. That was sign. Look at us, finding our way back with ease despite the of it being difficult at first. I have so much health that I can't even... That is the gate. Wait, this is, is that the way it came through? Oh. Okay. Oh, we get more health, but this one can't use it. Can't use this when we already have full health. It's a rare day when that happens when I realize I can't even pick up the health because we're not full health. Things are looking up for us today. But there's like several gates. I mean, that one over there. Let's go over our little fucker of time. So I guess is this the gate you're saying I'm supposed to go through? I thought I died, but really I was just entering a loading zone. So much fun! Black Mesa East. So awesome. When it loads, does it automatically save me? Look how pretty.
better get off. us into this new location. Oof, what is over here? Whatever's over here is creepy. What's this on the wall? Ooh, an open door. Some cool ass graffiti. I've seen this kind of graffiti before. This like dude sitting here off in the distance. Those cool combat boots and stuff. I can't believe we're still at 100% health. Go us. Oh god. You serious? I've got something. Okay, it's it's human. Uh, Hello? Hi. Take it easy in there. You're safe now. You're safe? You'll now? have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. I was feeling a little bit safer. Dr. Before. Freeman? That's Gordon me. Freeman? Is that you? Don't You've made me it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. Well, let me ask. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. Cute sweater. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Combine? Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they've failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement. Entanglement. Come on. Oh. <laughs> hey there, Listen to me. Hey. I sound like a postdoc. Nice to see I, I, I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Oh. Where was I? You scanned my ass and oh, found out yes. that I'm good to go. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined a black mesa. We figured uh, out how to like Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively, a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Speak up. <laughs> oh, going, here's a Eli now. All right, good. Keep right up. This is actually my first play. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Pardon me if I'm not. Gordon Freeman. Let me get a you. look at you, man. Look at you and your. My like, God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do oh, it? Oh, thank you. Now let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to... Oops. I'll try to turn up my mic volume. Uh, let me know if that's any better. All the time I had problems with that. Today I'm on the new computer, so... I'm, uh, today I had to like work through some issues with the audio. Uh, I thought I had it corrected, but let me know if that's any better. Thanks for letting me know. The lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa. But it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates oh, are sweet. few and far between these days. Stick it closer to my mouth, We'll get too. you out of that hazard <laughs> suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Well, let me matter? just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's yes? been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Yay, let's work together. Feel free to look around. Oh, uh, well, my, let's see, um, so I'm actually on my partner's old computer, still it's our, uh, best, the gaming laptop that he was always on. So then, um, I'm on the oh, Lenovo, you should stay so with Lenovo Eli. Legion Go on. I'll rejoin Y520, you but then the one that we got for him is called a Predator, 
So that one I might use if we ever try to do VR stream on that computer. But this one's great for streaming um, XSplit, no problem. So I'll probably be doing a whole lot more Steam games using XSplit here. And also the Can Elgato with the PlayStation Street? 4. Spend some time with Eli. How cool I'll these be back as soon as TVs I catch are. Up on some work. I want to have cool little TVs like this on my game someday. Can you still hear me, friend? Is that any better? So yeah, we basically upgraded our gaming now, laptop. I have a few things to attend to, Dr. Freeman. Lady so Eli we got two you gaming that. laptops now. We're still sharing the two gaming laptops, but... I definitely got an upgrade compared to the last computer I was on, and uh, Martian gets the new, new one, and just got done setting it up today. Dr. Freeman? What? I figured you and Eli would want to talk about old times. We can talk later. Is it the Predator 17, friend? With the 1070, 8 gigabyte? Sounds right. We found a pretty damn good deal on, uh... Oh, Dr. Freeman. Uh, you should stay Amazon. with Eli. Go on. I'll rejoin you shortly. Where is Eli? Over in this Fine cool ass lab. Judith. She was up for your job at Black Mesa, but you edged her out with your Innsbruck experience. Yeah. Oh, Gordon. The Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't believe he made it so quickly on foot. It's me, it's me. I believe he broke your record, honey. Huh. <laughs> That's a beauty. He earned it. I guess Yay. you proved you can handle yourself out there. We were pretty pumped about uh, the deal we found. With the it was better than exception. every other store we looked at. Dad, please. They're definitely the best! Woohoo! That was actually the name of this Lenovo, the beast. But I guess we have yet to really name the predator yet. Pretty poof or something? Take a look at this, Gordon. Okay. Acer's good on price and damn good with their products. Sweet! Only a few years ago, I had never even heard of an Acer. I appreciate they are the company that has built the most powerful commercial laptop on record. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the $6,000 laptop. Makes my mouth water just thinking about it. Okay, hold on. So, am I just looking at this or am I supposed to interact? I can't really tell what this cool ass thing is, but it's awesome. Alex, I thought you were on watch. The Vortigaunts relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be yeah. in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well the in The portal! Hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, <laughs> not at all. It was a calculation. Comes in a military case. Holy shit. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I, I think like you deliberately misunderstand me. Because I'm always carrying around Alex, like that. Why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Takes two power supplies. Fun. The zero point energy field manipulator is Does not. Does it a levitate toy, too? <laughs> 4K yeah, curved know. monitor? Pardon me. Let's go! Are you afraid so I'm gonna I look at your butt? Dr. <laughs> She's all walking backwards. Dr. She's Muffin? one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. I can imagine. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. What do you mean, why? Come on. Okay. This way, okay. It runs dual eight, 1080s with some 16 core processor and like 64 gigabyte of 3200 megahertz DDR4. Hey, yeah, that'll be our next one. <laughs> Woohoo! So much fun. Cooled with liquid nitrogen. Is that what they use to like burn off warts? <laughs> she just shoved me out of the way? Okay. So, here yours? we are. The scrapyard. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator. Next month they're really obsolete. It's designed for handling hazardous materials. 
but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Hell yeah, I like it when you heavy lift. Try. Such awesome music. Can I ever unequip myself, or am I always carrying? Makes a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. Really? Achievement. Handy for clearing minefields. Swap gravity gun with previous gun. Okay. G for G spot. Now what? The secondary trigger lets you oh, grab fun. things. You can throw them with the primary. Oh, nice. Once you've picked something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss See it. See that bouncy rope with the tire swing. I'm trying to pick this up, but it just keeps smacking it. Okay, what could I pick up it without? You can also pull stuff over from a distance. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. Where? Those barrels? Oh. Alright. Oh, sorry, girl. Okay, so right mouse to pick See it up. Stack some stuff to climb up here. Okay. Fun. Have I played Portal? First game engine with decent physics in uh, 2006. We gotta convince her to play Portal next. I've only uh, played like a tiny little bit of Portal, but it was like level 20 because it was someone else's game. So I was like, this is really, really, really hard. I could not figure it out, and I was really tired that day. I'm trying to build a stack. But yeah, so I have a good idea about Portal, um, but I haven't actually played it. I would love to play it next. That'll be a hoot! <laughs> Cute! I love hoots. All right. Hey, I did it! <laughs> yeah, I bet it's a lot easier when you start on level one. I obviously want to play through all the games made by Valve. Especially since we're neighbors to the Valve headquarters. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Really? Dog! Dog! Huh. Is that microphone a lot better, friends? Uh, since I turned it up. Whoa. Hi! Cute, it does a little somersault! What I wouldn't Doggy. do to, like, make a character Gordon, that can dog. do that. <laughs> My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Look at her I'm hair, is like a giant dreadlock kind okay, of. Okay, dog, let's play catch with Gordon. It's like, actually got some pretty good matted weekend. detail. Dog, throw. Can I pick up dog? <laughs> I thought maybe I could throw that. Oh. Good catch. Oh me? Good catch? Thanks. Throw Let's play catch. Dog. You wish you could model? Hey, maybe one day. If not yet. So. There's always time. One dog. All cutscenes are interactive. I miss that. This is a cutscene? Whee! Dog, go get your ball! Where's your ball? Cute! Oh yeah, I was trying to throw that rock earlier. That's his ball. <laughs> you can draw, but modeling is just not your niche. Did you say if you tried, friend? I can't remember. I mean, did you try a 3D modeling? Maybe I can, maybe I can uh, model one of your characters one day. If you're not going to. Cute! Oh, there's his ball. This computer already has like 3D Max on it, right? Maybe not um, installed on my profile here, but this computer, uh, I'll just have to get 3D Max on it. Hey, an auto host for up to seven viewers. Welcome, friends of Venomous. Nice to see you. I'm Jenny. First time doing my uh, first full playthrough of Half-Life 2. Uh, I should be embarrassed about that, but it's just the reality. Try not to get myself down on how busy I've been the last 10 years. <laughs> when I told you dog liked to play fetch, I didn't tell you who'd be fetching. Oh, cool. Oh, your drawings are all portraits and detailed sketches. Nothing to really transfer to 3D. Probably hard then, because... Uh, I tried to make a realistic 3D model and it was super hard. <laughs> I'm probably better at doing cartoon stuff. Get the box! Okay, Gordon, 
Let's try something else. Dog, throw something bigger. Yeah. This guy is strong. In case anyone no from dog. Venomous uh, stream is no, here, no anyone else that uh, is no, new that to down. the stream, I'm Jenny. Learning 3D modeling and Unity game development. What was that? I don't know. Scanners! Scanners. Combine sweeping the area. Gotta head back to the lab. Come on, Okay. I'm scared. Uh, but yeah, since I got a new computer, I'll be playing a whole bunch more Steam games because we have a whole ton that I never got to play on on stream because my computer was so limited. But now we don't have that burden of limitation keeping us back from. Our true read? desires, so. Alex, Fuck. Alex, what's going on in there? Where are you, Alex? We're in the scrapyard airlock, stuck in a full auto cycle. Is Gordon still with you? He's yes. right here. I'm right here, friend. I want you to. Dad? Oh, here's a picture of your link. Oh, Take no, not Dad. Head for the coast. Do not go through rape. Dad? Dad! Damn it! Dog, open the airlock. Get us out of here. Hurry, now! Tear out the party. Yeah, get it, doggy. Hold on, I'm, I'm opening this. On, oh, beautiful, Frank. Nice. Bunny there. Very uh, full of character. Personality. Come on, friends. Wait, where am I? Let's go. What the Dog, fuck? Oh, you're Alice Wonderland tribute. Tunnel, then circle around and try to meet up with me. Circle Hurry. around. Come on, Dougie Dog. Over here? Okay. He is so cute. Yeah, I love Alice in Wonderland. In fact, I named my kitty Alice after Alice in Wonderland. Do not enter. <laughs> I'm not really a do not enter kind of gal or, or guy. Dog! Ugh, gross. Ew, it's those like gross things. Uh, I thought maybe this would be an elevator that would work, but maybe not. Oh, duh. Maybe that thing is uh, totally obscured. You only started drawing earlier this year? Sweet. Well, great job, friend. Did you, um, were you not inspired to draw as a kid, but then you suddenly took up the hobby and now you're just uh, really good at it? And your first ever portrait. Oh, and I can shoot locks. Thanks. Is that a lock? Oh, that lock. Thanks. I only had to do that once before, but boy, was it fun. Oh, this kind of reminds me of like Purgatory Fell right here. <laughs> so creepy. Whoa. Okay, let's look at this first portrait. Cool, friend. Nice. Look at that shading and stuff. Great. Are you taking any art classes or anything, too? Yeah, we took some uh, life drawing classes together, but I still need quite a bit of work. <laughs> I did this, like, draw sember challenge. Oh, is that where we just came up from? Hold on. Oh, fuck. Seriously? Ouch. You just sat down and did it. 18 hours, your hands were aching. Cool, friend. You, you're showing some endurance for sure. How do I get down without dying? 
Oh, I see. I gotta climb down face first. <laughs> Wait, that's where we came from. Alright. Once in a blue, once in a while, I'll see a, a level that might look kind of similar to me. Because I haven't played a million games just yet, so I'll retrace my steps sometimes by accident. Oh god. Ravenholm. What happened here? I feel like some games they don't really pay attention to music very much, but this one it's like every time you come into a new scene. There's like music to go along with it and fits the, the mood, whatever it is. I really appreciate that. Barely, even if it doesn't open, it still chips off a little bit. Ew, what the fuck happened here? Wow. And I like that, that look. Let's take a little picture for later. What? Where? Okay. Oh Is this where Last of Us got the idea of having these like the clickers or whatever? This looks different. This looks more like a an animal, whereas in Last of Us, wasn't it like a bacteria or something that happened? That bird stuck right there? Hey, that's kinda cool. Happens. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. At least you're rescued from your Groundhog's Day experience over there. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Fuck. Now that's kind of cool. What the fuck? So I guess that there's like these giant saws coming out of the wall where they would then sew people- I mean, saw people in half. Oh my goodness. Hey there, Minnie! <laughs> Minix, what's up, friend? Oh, really? Oh, thanks for that little heads up about the achievement. What about that bird I just shot off? I guess I didn't see your note until uh, a couple minutes after I used my gun. Cool. Alright, let's go over here. So awesome and disgusting at the same time. Wait a second. Does the gravity gun have an um, endless amount of ammo? Yeah, we gotta figure out how to get through to that other room. You can pick them up, you just uh, need to raise it a bit. You mean these like little um, orange things? Oh, this room is kind of a forced tutorial? Nice. Oh my god. Ew. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I thought maybe I could get through. Oh, wait. can I just jump over there? Oh, okay. Oh, Out of my way, table. You have already used the gun. Oh god, I can't use it on him. Oh wow. I didn't know you could do that. What? Can't hear you, what? I'm trying to just use a gravity gun, but it's too late. Fuck my life. Oh the blades. I thought you meant those like orange things. 
Hey, after I saved myself. I just kicked him? Nice. With the gravity gun? <laughs> ah! What happens? <laughs> Gross. There's all these bodies sawed in half. You have already used the gun. The gravity gun achievement is really hard anyway. Well, um... I'm embarrassed to admit, but I'm actually only just doing my first playthrough here, so I'm sure I'll play it another few times. Probably, like, when I have a really good game, once I play all the way through it, I'll start over from the beginning right then and there, so... This is, like, my entire, uh, first experience is, like, a tutorial, so after the first time, and I'll, I'll know these, these cool treats. <laughs> like, just using the gravity gun to get through here. I'll definitely try for that achievement next time. Yeah, there's more opportunities. <clears throat> Come here, dude. Oh my god. Come here. Where'd that thing go? Shit! Fuck, man. Oh god, are you serious? That does not kill them. Wow. Okay, well I already used the gun, so... Figured might as well get those ones while we're at it. Okay, next time we'll definitely try for that achievement, though. You can throw paint cans at the zombie and cover them with paint. <laughs> cool, it's like a game of paintball inside a game. Sweet! Okay, I gotta remember to breathe. Sometimes it's hard, cause... Oh god. Okay, this is actually the way I believe. Gross. Thanks, friend G, for gravity, uh, spot. Birdies. Next time we'll get paint on those guys too. What the fuck is that? Is that gonna cut me in half? Oh. I don't know why. Sometimes I don't go for the uh. Okay, let's get up. Oh shit. Let's get one of those saws or I don't know anything. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> it helps with the zombies. Oh, nice. Hey there. What up, friend? How jibs? Gross. This section is post people's favorite part of the game. <laughs> I can see why. Oh, most people's favorite? Nice. It keeps on spinning. Good times, good times. Oh, that thing, I should have left it on so it would chop some of those zombies in half. Good call. I'm making notes because like, I'll definitely play this game more than once, so this is just my first time playing all the way through it. What up, zombie pirate? Nice to see you. Hey, Twitch kittens, meow. Yay, friendship. <laughs> all right. So yeah, wish me luck. Uh, oh wait. Hey, what's that? Hey, thank you. What up? Thank you for those bits, friend. I appreciate that. You owe your career to this game, and Halo pretty much made me devote my life to this art. And that's what you did for me, Martian. Martian's teaching me game development, uh, Unity, and 3D modeling. And uh, it's surprising that I haven't played this game just yet, but I started off with stuff like SimCity, and before that, even like as a little kid, we had Atari and stuff. So I played I played games when I was younger, but I 
always get lost. I'm not always sure if like I came this way or not. That is the way we came from before. <gasps> hey, what's that? Hey, oh, thank you for the follow. Mwah. Appreciate that. Yay. It's like five in the morning right now, but we're night owls over here. Uh, it's just myself and Martian Games and Nightbot and a few others. It's always nice to have some company. All right, let's go the correct direction this time. What the hell? Where? What did I miss? I'm supposed to go somewhere else, I think. Oh, I think back this way, but over here maybe this time. Slight confusion. Okay, we came out from here. We turned this off, even though we didn't have to. Would have helped with the zombies. All day, every day, Martian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, up here is where we have not been, I don't think. Ugh, I always get, like, kind of um, lost when things look similar to me. Maybe I haven't been this way. See, like, this is where I first started, right? There are two sequels to this game. Episode 1 and uh, Episode 2, my favorite. Oh yeah, Episode 2 is your favorite? Do I actually have to go back around all this to get out of here? Or am I supposed to continue through this direction that I had gone? Sometimes you actually do have to retrace your steps a bit. Okay, this is where we were headed, but... Alright. Oh, okay. New section. For the days of my life have vanished like smoke, and my bones are parched like ash, and let all my impurities be as fuel for that fire until nothing remains but the Gross. Oh man, these things are so nasty. One and two. Yeah, um, great friend. I'm definitely going to do the sequels as well because, uh, yeah, there's all this, like, talk about, oh, they never made Half-Life 3, but they made all these sequels. It's kind of like, how can you complain? How can you complain when they had, like, plenty? <laughs> Hey, that thing already got them for me. What's that thing? <laughs> okay, how about our crowbar in this situation? for some disgusting uh what are these things considered they're not zombies right oh really the first game is where i'll get the full backstory nice in the episodes alex starts cracking some real terrible jokes people love to complain never enough same when they change a game or keep it the same people fuss right i guess some people just like to complain it's like a therapeutic Sometimes for some people, especially. Oh god! I did not just do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm still alive. Engaged. What's engaged? Administered. I'm scared. <laughs> May they become like dust before the wind. In the hands of the I try not to be too complaining, but I mean, once a month. I mean, <laughs> it's hard not to complain. <laughs> Oh no, that thing just th I forgot these assholes can actually throw those at us. Oh my god. Alrighty then. <laughs> well, that just happened. <laughs> yeah, at least once a month I'll, I'll get kind of whiny and complainy, but not about game development so much since my boyfriend's a game developer. <laughs> I know just how much it takes to make a game, especially as a solo developer. If there's one thing that Martian Games taught me, it's how hard it is to make a game, uh, especially as just one person. But also how possible it is, and with the tutorials out there today, 
Even someone like me can make a game. So there's some blue balls. But who is this? Another life to save? I'll keep my eye on you. More than that, oh, there I are. cannot run. Shut up, dude. <laughs> I couldn't get him? Alright. <laughs> cool. Love the fire in this game. Oh god. So much I'm gonna walk right through it. <laughs> I'm not sure what that does. Makes a cute little sound effect. Just Do not punch me in the face, dude. If anyone's going down, it's you. It's so nasty though. <laughs> Is the only friend you will ever have in Ravenhaven or Ravenholm. Fuck man, when those things like pop off the head, it's so gross. And also so awesome. Yeah, okay, sorry, but I don't wanna actually shoot that guy. What does this thing do? Hey, I'm still not sure. I thought maybe it would turn off the fire, but... <laughs> oh yeah, remember how much Valve likes valves. <laughs> Good tip, friend. Let's find some valves. What's that? Oh, health. I'm gonna save them. Where? I did? Oh, that pipe? Oh, thanks. Wait. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Instead of smacking it, let's just turn it. Oh my god. This is so disturbing. Oh my god. Stay back! Oh, that thing's fucking electric. God damn it. Uh. I thought, like, to lure them over here and then turn this back on. Like that? Wow, that voice acting though. I like those sparks. Ew, man. Ew. Not sure how to get up there though. Hmm. Gotta turn off those electric fences. Let's follow that. Okay, maybe we can find another area that turns off this fire. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, God. Hey, look at it. You think for Ravenholm gra oh, gravity gun achievement, you have to do it in game guard mode, and it's super tough. Well, um, yeah, I can't even imagine only just using the gravity gun for this, except for that that fire does seem to help trap those gross ass zombies, or whatever the hell they are. I can't wait to learn more about what they are actually, because I'm not sure entirely. I can hear more of them They're making disgusting noises over there. Ew, 
watch, watch. Yeah, buddy. Hit hard mode. Oh yeah. Um, I might have to play this like three times before trying to do hard mode because I suck, man. I gotta get way better before trying to do hard mode. <laughs> Are you getting tired? Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Fuck. Oh shit. Ew! There, we got him that time. Of God, all this furniture just chilling. Fine. <laughs> Whee! Like growling and snorting in my ear. Oh god. Gotcha. Sick ass. Oh man. This is a good kind of tension. Like when you get all super grossed out and you feel like you're gonna puke. <laughs> I don't get scared so much as I get like. Tense, tense and nervous and disgusted, but I really like that sensation. <laughs> That's fun, <laughs> especially when it's not real life. Get out of my couch. This isn't working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I just smacked myself in the face with that couch. That's a cool couch, actually. Look at that material. God damn it. Fuck. Gross. These are really cute little uh, drawers, like tall drawers. <laughs> I could use some of those in my bedroom. Hey, a new kind of something or other. Let's take a closer look. Ew, it's a black kind. What the fuck? Oh, I thought I was already dead for a second, even though I got plenty of health. All right. Oh my god. I asked you. Look at those sparks giving us clues. That's exactly what we needed to get up to. Oh, look at a, a knife that I cannot pick up. I don't think we can just hop out the window though. We gotta go back to get down. Oh, what about this thing? Meow. Oh, good times, good times. Uh huh. Seriously? Okay. Now we can get through that area. Whee! Where? Ah. Oh god. Yeah, the way it sounds like a rope like swinging around towards your face. So wrong. Yet so right. Fuck. Ah. How do I kill these guys anyway with this uh, gravity gun? I guess I have to like. Oh, shit, man, now I'm almost dead. Gross. And awesome. Okay. Crazy, my health is actually going up right now. Administering antidote. Interesting. Alright, so. I thought that my health didn't go up naturally unless I picked up health packs, but I was just going up there. 
while I was being administered a antidote. Wow. Look at this. Whoa, nice. That was just for fun. Wow, who did the voice acting? Because it is so realistic. It's inferred that you carry antidote with you. Okay. Thanks. I guess I can toss this antidote. I guess that's just for fun. That cage is just standing there. It doesn't seem to do anything but light that dude on fire. Back to that electric fence, which I believe is off now. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh man. What's so funny, well sick ass? Done, brother. My only friend. Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Behind you! Where? In Ravenholm, you do well to be vigilant. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> now where? Okay. No, I did not just fall down like that. Minor God damn it. Detected. No way. Alright. Come back up here to where we can see that dude, and then we just jump down. The end of episode two is really hard. I couldn't do that bit in hard mode. Oh, good. <laughs> good to hear that someone who is more experienced than me also has a good challenge, even though it's on hard mode. Oh, God! I think I'm supposed to jump over there, but now I keep on just hurting myself. Alright, what am I missing up here then? I thought I should jump over here, but it's like I've done that twice now and both times just fell on my fell on the ground and it was lame. Should I just try running and jumping again right here? Oh, uh, pff, yes, yes, I should. There we go. <sighs> okay, let's wait. This is where he was, so. Oh, let's do running and jump from over here then. <sighs> Not that hard. Hey, what's that? Yay! Hey, it's Manny Paradox. Thank you for that cheer, friend. Thanks. Happy holidays, buddy. How are you doing? Playing one of the most iconic yet uh, game I had not actually played until now. Uh, I think it's like my fourth session playing Half-Life 2 for the first time. And at this rate, I think that I'll be playing it all the way through and then I'll play it all the way through again. <laughs> and then I'll probably play episode uh, the other two episodes and stuff. Scared. Oh no, I hope I don't fall. Oh my god. I feel like I should be able to get right through this window. Oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> Press control to crouch through in that window. Cute! 
So nasty. I love nasty shit in this game. It's like the worst and the best. Yeah! Ew! Flying fireballs. You want a piece of this? You disgusting little turkey? Take that. I would never eat these things, even though they somewhat do resemble turkey. Like a turkey crab. Just follow the sounds of like moaning and groaning and crying. guys all have like um, jackets on like they're in a sorority or something. Oh no no no. <laughs> okay should have been prepared with my bomb a little bit sooner on that one. But we are okay. Man. Hey, new followers! Feels so cool to have some new friends in my life. Are you? Um, sounds like you're a streamer, also, Minix. I wonder if you're still in here. Uh, if if so, I was wondering, uh, do you stream Half Life Two or Half Life? And uh, what other types of things do you stream too? I could have smashed them with that car. That was going to be awesome. Hey, what's that? Yeah. Hey there, Arkham Flash. What's up? Nice to see you. Thank you. Welcome. Let me see if I can... Uh, get, oh, I know why. Because I don't have any more bombs. That's why I can't. <laughs> hey, hey. Thanks, Minnie. <laughs> Sweet friends, welcome. Yeah, let me know if you ever um, Arkham Flash. What up? Let me know, uh, Minnie, if you ever uh, or Minix, if you ever uh, stream the uh, Half Life, and if so, if we uh, happen to be, you know, I can host you when I'm done playing, type of thing. If, if we stream at the same time. This is like unnerving. I don't want to walk into this car. Or do I? Pretty good, thank you. It's like 5 30 in the morning. We're total night owls around here, but I didn't even start streaming until just a little while ago. <laughs> so it's pretty late. I'm not sure how long of a stream I'll be doing today, but we're just having fun right now. Not thinking about how we're total vampires over here. <laughs> the Martian Game Studio. This is an opportunity to save your bullets. Oh, thanks, friend. Good call. Sounds like a werewolf, too. I'll try to save my bullets more often. I guess I don't get scared generally when I see I have all these guns and stuff. Uh, you don't stream, you get too salty and only really play EVE Online nowadays. Sweet. Good to know. 
Ooh, yeah, this is like my first time playing all the way through Half-Life 2, and I'm probably only about six hours into the game. Uh, yesterday someone was in here saying that they can speedrun this game in like less than an hour or something. So I'm like the opposite. I'm like, whatever it takes the normal average person probably takes me about two weeks longer. <laughs> Way longer. Uh, okay, so we came out through here. We put that car up there. I get salty too, but I try to be, try to be uh, contained with my anger management. Even though I know some people really like that. <laughs> Usually, like once a month, I'll get extra emotional and like take it personal if I get a troll or something like that. But uh, okay, I'm not sure exactly where to go next. But I, I have not played Half Life One just yet. But we moved to uh, about like 30 minutes away from Seattle, only in September. So we live pretty close to the Valve headquarters, and uh, therefore I dream of playing all the Valve games and also getting a tour of the Valve headquarters one day. That, of course, is just a dream. But you know, that's where all great things start sometimes, uh, as a dream. Okay, how do I get through here or somewhere? I feel like I need to get up there. Oh, wait. Maybe if I'm up on that car, then I can... How do I get up there? Usually there's a convenient ladder somewhere nearby. Maybe I can go upstairs from inside. But yeah, I would love to play Half-Life 1. Uh, so after Half-Life 2, do you play Episode 2? Or do you... are you supposed to start... Which one are you supposed to start with? Because I know they made Half-Life 2 first, but... I think I could stack things to climb up in there, but... I'm scared. Gotta get up there somehow. You might consider streaming once you have a better PC and a better upload internet speed. I feel your pain, friend. <clears throat> it's the story of my life. In fact, we just got, well, we just upgraded a second gaming laptop, so both my partner and I have gaming laptops now. Uh, so you'll probably be seeing me play a whole lot more PS4 games and Steam games that I haven't gotten to yet. Episode 1 next, then obviously episode 2. Cool. Is episode two, I guess, the second part of Half-Life 2? All right, how the hell do we get up onto these ramps up here? I feel like I'm supposed to hop up onto one of those cars really fast or something. Like this? Like that, okay. Yeah, buddy, like that, uh. <laughs> Why not jump on the car? Good call, friend. At first I thought that it was like smacking up too fast, but now I see that I have just enough time to do that. Oh god! I think we're supposed to go up here to the right once we're up there. Both episodes are Half-Life 2 storyline. Cool. That's what I'm most curious about because the gameplay really speaks for itself. Almost. God damn it. I'm gonna practice this a few more times. Some games, like, I mean, can get away with only just having a story, but this game has so many cool mechanics and puzzles and stuff. You're gonna tell you, but you wanted to wait until you ask chat. <laughs> you like watching me struggle. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. I'm glad you're getting some pleasure out of that. <laughs> I do like to try and then figure things out on my own, but 
honestly, I'm really glad to have chat because a lot of the times I'll be playing things and I'll be struggling and generally like I am Father Gregory. By the time you I start crying is I don't want help. I'm straight up dead now. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay, checkpoint or wait what? Oh no. Wait, how far do we go back? Are you serious? Okay, it's been a minute since we saved. God damn it. Alright, hold on. Let me just save my force. Okay, part of me just wants to die now and start over. Eat me, little motherfuckers. <laughs> Technically, Valve cannot count to four or five if you can include Lost Coast CHP. Quick save is your friend in this game. Thanks. You know, I had like finally gotten used to the quick save, but then I forgot to save since the last time I saved. All right, those super fun cars. Like, where are they? <laughs> I guess we gotta get through here again. It's all good. We're having fun. This is a good practice because once I play all the way through this game once, then I will be able to play through oh, far better the second time around. G. Right button. Take that, sick ass motherfuckers. Did that get all of them? Mm, nasty. Yeah, in case anyone uh, didn't probably know this about me, but I started my Twitch stream back in like 2013 and uh, didn't really invite anyone to my stream for the longest time because of the equipment upgrade situation, but now I finally have enough um, equipment to like offer a decent quality stream at least that's what I thought back in the beginning of 2017 so this is like the year of growth for my channel hopefully it'll just be on the up and up now now that I got yet another new computer well my partner has a computer I got a computer and uh, yeah we're doing a pretty good job now finally uh, sometimes we like to do game development streams well I've really been wanting to play some more PS4 games that we have and also Steam games that uh, we have a lot of games that I haven't been able to play because I wanted to stream them. <laughs> I wanted to stream the experience because it's like there's only one first time to anything like so I, I just have this thing where I really like to share my first times with people generally. Quick save. Because I'll love to stream this when it's like my third time too and stuff, but uh, there's only that first one, uh, that one first time. All right, here we are. Oh, good. Ah, oh, fuck. Yes, friends. Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> Quick save. <laughs> you you'll be the next cutie pie earning six million a year. <laughs> you thought I was English? Cool. Well I am of German and English descent, however. Born and raised in California, if anything I probably just slur my words. Probably uh, somewhat of a speech impediment that makes me sound exotic. <laughs> if, I t if I sound interesting, it's probably just because I mumble. Look at that beautiful lighting, lighting and textures on these walls. Okay. This is, these are pretty complicated. It does take quite a bit of effort to get 
to the point of uh, being really good at playing games like this. Fuck, no. Aw, oh, bad timing. It's all good. We finally got the crowbar. Alright, yeah. Now that's gross. And I like it gross. Cool, you're in the UK? Sweet. There's definitely some of my favorite uh, comedians are British. Like the Mighty Boosh. I love the Mighty Boosh. There's a lot of things I like about Russell Brand, but um, I learned about him from the Mighty Boosh. Some of his stand-up I like. I have not read his book, so I'm not really sure. My friend said that he sounded a little bit like a, a bit of a misogynist or something. I don't know. I think like everyone when they're in their 20s kind of deserves a little bit of leeway and you're still like developing your own personal character and stuff. Peter K is very funny. But yeah, once you're in your 30s, hopefully, hopefully, uh, well round, round yourself out so that you are, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how important it is to not offend people, but in today's day and age of social justice warriorism, I'm always trying to please people, or at least, like, not upset them. So I'm trying to... I like to be everyone's friend if possible, but can't please everyone. It's really hard. <laughs> Try not to piss off people too much, but okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> oh wait, this this other way is the way we're supposed to go. <sighs> oh god. Better oh. and better. Thanks, buddy. I am Father Gregory. You have already met <laughs> my congregation. Where are you? <laughs> quick save. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me about the quick save minutes. <laughs> Thanks, Marjan. You too. Thanks, y'all. What would I do without you, chat? I think my friend is trolling me. He's like, yeah, good luck getting to me. Motherfucker. Good thing we did the quick save, just in case. Just in case there's any more of those little dudes in there. I love these walls. Oh my god. So yeah, maybe one day we'll get to take a tour of Valve headquarters. This just like ends up right here. That's just like a wall that backs you up into a no exit. Oh god. Ew, look at he cracked his own head open. Oh no, he shot him. Nice. I'm glad he didn't get me, bro. Whoa. Ah, it is you. Fuck. God damn it! Sorry. <laughs> Get off of me, you sick ass. Ew. Oh man. Oh god, where is it? Oh. What the fuck? I think he grabbed me by the balls and so I lost a bunch of health all at once. I forget if- I don't even honestly know if my character's a dude or a chick. Whew. <laughs> you don't find American TV comedy funny. Big Bang a little bit. Understandable. What about Mystery Science Theater? Do you think that's funny? We've been watching a lot of that lately before bed. Especially now that there's a Mystery Science Theater Twitch channel. I can't think of any good examples of American comedy that I, that I think is funny, so... I honestly don't have any good counters for that, because I... So... I agree, at least I'll, I'll have to think about some- Oh, look at that. Oh, fuck us all. <laughs> Damn it! You don't think that Mystery Science Theater's funny? Okay, let me try to think of some other funny stuff. Well, we used to really like Louis C.K., but then lately he came out in the news as, like, masturbating in front of chicks without them wanting him to or something. Fuck. Alright, that was a little bit too close. I guess, uh, yeah, I, I would have to say that British humor is my favorite. Ever since I was a little kid with Monty Python. Did you ever play the Monty Python computer game? Because I was totally into that when I was a kid. With the little fishies and the spam and stuff. Hmm. 
Okay, who else wants a piece of this crowbar? <laughs> Some USA TV shows are really good. The Good Wife and House of Cards. We don't really watch cable, but we get all of our entertainment uh, on um, the internet. <laughs> it's like Netflix or... This guy is the one that killed me last time, I think. Ah, it is you, brother. I apologize. But no harm done. My bullets are the least of your concerns. I'm scared. <laughs> Stay down. How about just that other one, just in case? Life of Brian! Yeah, that was my favorite one as a kid. I cannot tell you just how many times we watched that as a kid. We would watch Life of Brian almost every single day growing up. That and like the original Jurassic Park came out when I was a little kid and my younger sister. She really liked to dress up like uh, dinosaurs and... I don't know that that was that funny, but at the time it was. <laughs> you ever have like a uh, pillow, like um forts like forts in the living room with your couch and like blankets and stuff so we would like make a fort in the living room with like pillows and blankets and then my uh, sister and us we would like take turns pretending to be a dinosaur and doing like shadow dinosaur like from like the outside of the blanket of the fort I don't know if that's TMI or if that's a weird story but <laughs> anyone else play dinosaurs when Jurassic Park came out probably not <laughs> you don't need cable just piracy us the spirit yeah, we use Netflix and Hulu. Oh, you know what I really like is Broad City. I don't know if you've seen Broad City, but it's about these like two best friends who are girls and they're stoners. And they live in New York. How the hell do I get out of this window? What is my problem? I can't get out of the window. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Maybe there's another way out of here? I don't think so. I think I'm missing something, how to get out of that window. So yeah, I would have to say after thinking about it for a few minutes, uh, the Broad City is one of my favorites that came out, I think a year or two ago? At least I found it like about a year ago. My, my friend told me about it a year ago and uh, she was right, it was pretty dang funny. But almost anything's funny when you're stoned. <laughs> But yeah, it's hard to find good good writers. How the hell do I get through this window? What am I missing? I'll try to think of some other good American comedy if I can think of any. Do you like Mallrats? Like Jane Silent Bob? Dumbass. Self. Alright, figure that out, finally. Just gotta, um, click on control while- Fuck. God damn it. Do not knock me off this ledge. I shall knock you off first. close enough to those. Man, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go from here, but we'll find out. How about over here? Nope, that's... Oh god. Oh, let's get these guys. Yes, friends! There's some humor for... There's some American humor for you. <laughs> but he's not the messiah! He's a very naughty boy! <laughs> His mom. Yep. <laughs> He's like, I'm not the messiah. <laughs> or like the one where um, his friend's like, uh, I don't want to be Stan. Or like, I want to be Loretta. And they're like, but Stan, wait, where's the fetus going to gestate? In a box? 
Okay, how in the hell? Or where in the hell? Oh god! No way! I did not just jump all the way on the ground. Fracture detected. I probably just fractured my back. Maybe this is where we were gonna go anyway, but let's just look around. Ooh, nice little hallway over here, good for hiding. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh yeah, do you like Family Guy? Hey, Sham Garbage auto hosting me for up to seven viewers. <laughs> hey, friends, welcome. Put you to sleep. Anyone who's friends with Sham is a friend of mine. Sham's pretty funny, guys. Uh, sometimes I watch his stream. Hey there, Tharios. Thanks, friend. Nice to see you. Yay! Or they're like, always look on the bright side of death. <laughs> Life's a piece of shit when you look at it. Uh, I don't remember all the words, but <laughs> you don't like Family Guy? Okay, what about South Park? Probably not if you don't like Family Guy. Hey there, uh, Crime. Thank you for that host, friend. Nice to see you. Thinking about all the funny parts of Life of Brian and also trying to come up with some American comedy examples for Minx here who's from the UK. Which I definitely gotta agree with you that the, um, British humor is funnier than American humor, generally. Yay, crime! There's a penis song that, uh, that Monty Python did that was pretty funny. Let me think if I can remember how it goes, though. Penis song. <laughs> remember when I was in like high school and I heard that and I just thought that it was the most hilarious thing. Really enjoying Designated Survivor on Netflix. Oh yeah? We like to watch Naked and Afraid once in a while, but I don't know if it's really funny. I think it's more like really gross and stupid. But <laughs> Hope you have a good Christmas too, friend. Thanks. I'll probably be streaming the whole time because all my family lives out of state. Except for, oh, oh god, can I walk across this? Yes. Although they call me crazy, I care not, for thou art my helper, my strength. Ew. How do we always get stuck in these situations? Because we got stuck in freaking time travel. Got stuck in some middle of tri time travel, so who knows what kind of issues we're going to come across in this game. Well, most people would know, but I this is my first time playing all the way through this game, so I am learning for my first time. Better now than never. <laughs> How old are you, Minx? Do you mind if I ask? Because I, I feel like there- oh shit. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that uh, people, younger generation, younger than me, uh, you know, they think that certain things are funny that I don't think are funny. But I feel like maybe you're more my age. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think Monty Python's kind of like a mature uh, troop of comedians. I grew up in the 80s. I was born in the 80s, so. The 80s raised me. I'll admit that I do like cartoons a lot, so I really enjoyed Beavis and Butthead, Daria growing up. Beavis and Butthead and Daria. What else? Oops. Um, actually, Beavis and Butthead was one of the first cartoons that led me to want to make animations and games later in life. So funny to me. <laughs> You're 41 male. Okay. 
The USA film The Millers starring Jennifer Aniston was funny. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one, so I'll have to watch that one. I do like Jennifer Aniston. I mean, but then again, who doesn't? You're going to get some rest, friend? Have a wonderful evening. Good to see you. I'll catch you next time. Have a wonderful holiday if I don't see you again before then. And if you find yourself uh, needing some entertainment on Christmas, I'll probably be streaming. Just got a new computer, so I'm really looking forward to streaming lots of games for the holiday. Oh, no. I did not. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Alrighty, then. All right, I think that took care of them. Automotos, what's up, friend? Head crabs taste like chicken in theory. Yeah, they look like turkey slash crabs, like crab turkey. The Millers, huh? Is that on Netflix? It's a movie. Maybe it's on Hulu. Ooh, loading. Hey. Cool. We'll see just how much longer we got in us, friends. So six in the morning for us. We've been up all night. <laughs> That's not too uncommon for us, but it's, um, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing today. It's, I guess it's like Saturday now. Save. So, oh, what's that? Birds. Look at, whoa, look at those guys. Wow. They are seriously hopping across buildings like that. That is definitely, oh my god. I don't, no, oh god. Wow. That's the quickest save ever. I was having trouble when I was playing the retro game Commander Keen. And uh, I had to like escape out of my browser window every time I wanted to quick save. And for the longest time, uh, it won't let you save while you're on, wait, while you're within a level in Commander Keen. The first few Commander Keens. <laughs> Night Owls for life. <laughs> Hope you have a good stream. I'll be around and I'll stop by without fail. I'm usually a night owl, so this is my usual sleep time. Always happy to show all the support I can. Thanks, friend. <laughs> so yeah, in Commander Keen, like the first few episodes, you can't save uh, in the browser without uh, escaping out. It's so obnoxious because I was constantly wanting to save. But I think from Commander Keen 3 or 4 on, you were able to save in-game. This used to be a laundromat, apparently. Sound. That's fucked up. Ooh. Those are just moving boxes all sealed up and ready to go. Okay. Whoa. Take that, sick ass. You too. What about Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Minx? Did you like that movie? I thought it was freaking cute. Maybe it wasn't the funniest, but it was definitely heartwarming, in my opinion. Hey, there's the paint that we were talking about earlier. <laughs> paint party. Hell yeah. Alright. Making progress. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm really glad that all I gotta do is press F6. I don't even I don't even have to press the function button here to save, so quick as fuck. <laughs> you didn't know that about the paint buckets? It was okay. Preferred him in war games. Oh, yeah? Cool. Oh, God. Where the fuck? God damn it. No. 
past you. Oh my god. Is that the is that stench floating by my face? Where? This guy's totally trolling me. You've stirred up hell, <laughs> man after my own heart. Here I have a more suitable gun for you. You'll need it. Paint head crab that. achievement unlocked. <laughs> oh, thanks. Good. Now, now keep what? it close. My advice to you is aim for the head. Hush. They come. There is no rest in Ravenhorn. Move on, I will meet you at the church. Where'd that guy go? Be free, my child. These guys are fast. Oh God! Gross. Oh, I can hear them like walking up, hopping across the rooftops and stuff. Martian, have you seen War Games? Is that good? I mean, we could watch it maybe. Or that other one with uh, Jennifer Aniston in it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I never really got into. The younger generation likes that I. That I was like, what? Like, one thing that comes to mind is uh, My Little Pony, is I never got into that. <laughs> Actually, I had little uh, toys, the My Little Pony toys when I was a really small child, but then it just blew out of proportion. Uh, when I was an adult, people had taken it and just run with it so far. <laughs> like, there's, like, the animations and stuff. See how hard it would be just using the gravity gun in hard mode. How do I go where after this? <laughs> War Games is one of your very favorite movies. Sweet. Man, I'm missing out, man. I don't think I've seen it. Unless, is that the one where they're... Is that the one we're always talking about where they're, like, testing the kids uh, through video games to see who's ripe and ready for the army or something? Matthew Bradrick at his best. He stood there waiting for you. What if I... What if you'd never shown up? <laughs> yeah, well... I guess he was waiting for me, but I was also kind of waiting for him. He just kept hollering at me without any insight as to where, like, exactly I was supposed to go to get there and stuff. I got scared about jumping into that pool. Where are you? Where are you? Blah, 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 blah. Ew, off my face, turkey crab. Oh, that one's the last starfighter. Okay. Oh, here comes another one. Where? Fuck. Okay, I've definitely not seen War Games, but if it's one of your favorite movies, never got to see that one back in the days. Aww. I feel like I've seen it, but I was tired when I watched it, so I don't remember the whole thing. There's a lot of these things uh, around. Okay, wait. Sick. Okay, now where's my elevator? <laughs> get me out of here! How do I get out of here? I'll take a little break here while we wait for this elevator. Your fellow will like a part of the film, We're the Millers, where Jennifer Aniston does a sexy strip down to her underwear. Oh, and you like Flight of the Navigator. I love that one too. In fact, I was thinking about getting that for my nieces for Christmas because I don't know that they've ever seen it. Oh. 
Oh, he's like crying. Oh no, what the hell? Fuck off. Sick ass. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm, jo I'm joking about that. He's like, did I feel something? God damn. Yes, do you. Ooh, 98. Save. Save while our health is up. This is so much fun. <clears throat> Watched it again when I grew up. God damn, that little brat was annoying. <laughs> Dude, I love Flight of the Navigator. That cute little friend. Pet friend. Oh god! Blah! Sounds like a scary Halloween monster. That one can't get through that direction. Probably if we go around though, and maybe get there from over here. Come on, we're about to learn secrets of the universe. No, he needs to escape no matter what. <laughs> oh god. Is this the one that our friend gave us? Uh, shotgun? No. I think it's the submachine gun right here. Didn't the star of Sex in the City have a very small role in the film Flight of the Navigator when she was a teenager? Maybe, I would definitely keep an eye out for her when I uh, watch it next. I would sure love to see that. The girl that plays Carrie? Sweet. I hope I'm not too old to star in some TV shows or movies one day. <laughs> Even though I can't remember lines for shit. Luckily I got to do a few like voice acting things for like any indie animations and games. A couple uh, indie games uh, in animations. Oh, these guys are extra hard when they got like several of these sick asses on them. All you gotta do- oh god. Oh no, he almost killed me all the way. We should, should have done this thing. <laughs> eh, he just flew off. Okay, we don't have any more of those, uh, practically any more of those zombies anyway. But we do have that one. Yes, friends. <laughs> this is what we came here to do. She brings the boy his food and helps him out because he's cute. Cute? Annoying? <laughs> Ah, oh, that thing broke. Alright, now we're on our own. <clears throat> so fucking nasty. Pardon my French, but... <laughs> That's fucking sick! Anyone else down here want a piece of this action? I love the picking up and throwing mechanic. I hope I can do that. Maybe Martian will show me how to right click to pick something up and then left click to throw. Alrighty then. Any more of those? <laughs> they sure are coming in handy. I 
can hear you, but I can't see how there you are. I just threw that at myself pretty much. So Wouldn't be the first time today I threw something at my own face. Gravity gun to your game? Yeah! Martian's been teaching me C sharp programming and 3D modeling for like five years now. I still kind of suck, but not really. I don't totally suck. I'm, I'm getting better all the time. <laughs> but yeah, I've yet to make my version of Half-Life 2. Audrey Hepburn is one of my favorite actresses, but you can't guess her nationality. Is she Native American? Is she Greek? Wait, is she British? I know she's cute. <laughs> Your little brunette hair and stuff. Damn, this little gun takes like five just to get the person down, let alone the turkey. What's her nationality, friend? Anything else for the gravity gun to throw over here? Here. I don't think so. They're not all that smart, so we can just like lure them over here. Run, run around. <laughs> I feel like we don't have to get every single one of these nasty ass dudes. Turkey, you dead? Alright. <laughs> Okay, how about Italian? She looks too, like, I don't know. I don't think she's Italian. Belgium! Like the waffle? No wonder if she's so cute. Just as cute as a washes waffle is delicious. Like chocolate? Belgium chocolate. Mm. I think about chocolate and waffles when I think about Belgium. And now I will also think about Audrey Hepburn. Where's that door? We still can't get through there, but okay. This is where this is how we we're gonna try to get through that door by going around. So maybe we can now. Can I go through here? <laughs> Definitely not, and you'll scald yourself. <laughs> Everything Belgium is delicious. That's how we got through here. Over here. Oh, maybe we need to get up there. Definitely not that door. Have we gone over here? The hell is this shit? Oh god, help us all. That thing took me down almost entirely. Are you serious? Fuck off. Fuck, man. Gross, just like actual bugs would be like hiding underneath like wood or something like that. Seriously, that's how I'm gonna go? Okay. You don't really remember big screen cartoons of the 80s apart from the Transformers. Hmm, let me think. 
I guess Beavis and Butthead do America. Of course, that's the first one that comes to my mind. back here. This game is kind of like well paced now that I know my controls and I know how to get around. Okay, behind here is definitely that scary part. God. Scary because it's a dead end. Okay. Over here is the scary part. Oh, maybe we can get up though, that way. If only we can, like, not die. I can't pick that up, are you serious? Oh, I tell me. Jeez. Ah! God damn it. <laughs> when she was a little girl, she ran messages for the Belgium resistance in World War II through all the rubble and ruins, instantly shot if caught. Sorry, I'm full of boring facts. Those aren't boring facts. We really like cool facts like that because it's the type of stuff that it's like information we can take in if it's presented to us, but it's uh, not always. Uh, what was I gonna say? There's this one coffee shop that we used to go to all the time, and there's this guy who was like totally full of knowledge. He was just like an Encyclopedia Britannica, and he is also like the game Trivial Pursuit. And uh, he would like know every single answer to like everything. <laughs> what he was so hard to hear is so soft spoken. He would tell us all about World War II and trains that only if there was like hardly anybody else in there would we actually be able to hear what he was saying. But we really did enjoy that. Remember, friend Gary? <laughs> yeah, that is really cool that she. Uh, I feel like I remember Gary telling us something about Audrey Hepburn. Okay. Electro Wolf. Hey there. How's it going, buddy? Welcome. This is my first time playing all the way through Half-Life 2. So, welcome. I think I'm into maybe my seventh hour or something like that. Um, like my fourth stream playing through this game. So I'm catching up with the rest of the living. The rest of the world. How are you doing, Wolf? Okay. This is kind of like where we died last time. Let's try not to die this time. Oh, wait, what? That's just an average scene in this game. It happens all the time. Okay. Sheldon's fun with flags cracked me up. <laughs> that sounds cute. What's Half-Life 2? Oh god. Are you joking? <laughs> if not, then finally someone someone on my level, man. This game was made by Valve Corporation. And uh, I'm learning more about Valve because, well, I've been learning game development skills for the last five years or something. <laughs> So I'm catching up on my gaming history. This is one of the classics from... I'm actually not sure what year this came out, but... Uh, let's see. Uh, what year did Half-Life 2 come out? What year did Half-Life 2 come out? 2004. There we are. <laughs> uh, she's gonna tell us some more information. I guess I accidentally just cut her off, but... So back in 2004 is when this originally came out, but since then, they made Half-Life 1, and then they made Episode 2? For this one? Or for both of them? I don't know. Some backstory? 
Uh, but then they keep promising, or supposedly they're gonna come out with a Half-Life 3. Fun with flags. Sounds cute. Was it really that hilarious? Then we should watch that one. Oh. When you're off stream, I'll send you a whisper. Five minute clip of the very funny British comedian Peter Kay. His, he's big in the UK. Alright. I would love to see that. Yeah, because I love, uh, you know, those others that I mentioned earlier. Mighty Boosh, Monty Python, sometimes Russell Brand. Um, those are just the British comedians that come to mind right off the bat. Alright, what is this part up here? And by the way, save. <laughs> what is this? Can I hop up on this? I smell a puzzle. How did I get up here? I'm not sure. Fuck! That's where this thing always throws that disgusting thing at me. Oh well. Hey, I've been saving so good. Sick fucks. Wow. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Stupid. You feel old now. <laughs> I wonder how old you were when this game came out, Martian. Uh, when was the first time you played Half-Life 2? You can whisper it to me if you don't want to tell the whole chat how old you are. Just kidding. I'll definitely watch that Peter K thing then. Oh god. Ew. I feel like I could jump up onto this, but I think I gotta be upstairs somehow. Oh, there's the stairs. What do you know? Oh yeah, see. sure if we were supposed to have jumped on that before but can't press it again you think the big bang has run its course now you're here from java's host you had the le the least viewers so i thought i'd come here oh thanks friend yeah. cool everyone had over 100 viewers and fuck that oh sweet no way yeah i don't actually only once in my entire life of streaming for four years have i ever had over 100 viewers and that was when Hardly Difficult uh, hosted me one time while we were doing Ludum Dure, like a couple weeks ago. So that's sweet of you, a friend, to let me know. Yeah, Java is one of my uh, role models. We talk about him almost daily, about his studies with like, uh, genetics and stuff. Was the pride and joy of original Xbox was the part of the console's release. Oh, you found out that Rowan Atkin, or At Atkinson, Atkinson? did some stage performances, and they're hilarious. I thought he's just, oh, Mr. Bean all the time. <laughs> really cool. I would love to see what else he's got, because I definitely watched my fair share of Mr. Bean when I was a kid. All right, this thing does not come by. All right. Did Java host me today? Because I missed that notification, so. Let me just check this. Usually it'll uh, pop up with a little uh, thing. Maybe it was from some other day. Alright friends, I'm open to suggestions on how we're supposed to implement that cool thing that swings. <laughs> I feel like we got part of that. Oh, never mind. Don't tell me. I bet you were supposed to come over here. What the heck? Oh god. No way. Hold on. <laughs> What if we get up here now? What am I missing, man? Oh, I know, I know. We're supposed to get up on like that. Okay. We can do this, friends. 
If there's someone with over 25 viewers, I leave. <laughs> wow. Oh, thank you for the follow, Electro Wolf. I don't know if there was a delayed uh, response there or if that was from earlier. Uh, I have like three different types of notifications on. I got the events list, the alerts. Oh, there it is. Sometimes it's just, and I have the chat notification because sometimes they don't all work. Yay, thanks, Ryan. Welcome. In your case, I hope I never get so big that I have more than 25 people in my room at once. <laughs> It can be flustering. I kind of like having a nice chill type of stream. Uh, like Java actually has great type of stream for me because it's like mostly conversational based and uh, it's not like over over hyped I guess. I don't know. It depends because uh, sometimes I'll get flustered if there's too many people in the room. So maybe if I were to learn how to balance it better then I'd have a better time uh, talking to a hundred people at once but probably won't be for a while. I've actually only been streaming pretty seriously for the last year, and even then I'd say only average of like a couple days a week, but that's just because uh, since, well, in September uh, we moved to be like a half an hour away from Seattle, we're a lot closer to Seattle now, and the Valve headquarters, and my dream is to have a game development studio with my partner Martian Games here, and so I'm doing a lot of like recapping on games that I didn't play all the way through. I feel like I tried to open this door earlier and it didn't work. I'm not sure how to get up on there, but okay, maybe... Oh, over here. Oh yeah, there's those assholes. They scare me, almost kill me all the time. I think I have to kill them though to get up on top of this though. Every time! Alright, we saved right before that, so... <laughs> oh, you plan to outshine Valve. That's the spirit. <laughs> Cute emotes, Electro Wolf. Three hands. <laughs> you use that thing you moved up to jump across. Thanks, Ryan. I was just trying to figure out how to get onto it. I'm glad we moved it, though. At least we're one step closer. But yeah, if anything, hopefully we can get a, a tour of Valve Core because I did hear that if you're lucky enough, we can get a tour of Valve. One day I uh, called them while we were like driving through Seattle like a week or two ago and uh, I didn't reach anyone but I left a message saying, by the way I heard that, heard that sometimes you guys give tours, uh, I was just curious if that's just a rumor or... But yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully my uh, someone I know will get to work there. I don't know about outshining Valve anytime soon, but maybe maybe I could mop their floors or something. <laughs> I'll be their janitor. Oh, no, are you fucking serious? I only have six ammo? Fuck! Serious? Alright. <laughs> hey, kitty. Oh, I got the kitty here. Yes. I set up like a little kitty chair with a like, kitty pillow right next to me <laughs> and she took me up on that uh, offer and she just popped up and sat down. Yeah, Valve owns Steam. Uh -huh. Oh shit. Or you can pitch them a crazy idea with portals and they'll invite you themselves. I'm down. I mean, I'm willing to to mop their, their bathroom floors but if I had some kind of an internship there or something. Uh, my partner here, Martian Games, he's been making uh, web games for like 15 years or something. Uh, but right now, just working on his first VR game. And some of those uh, game assets I've been getting to help with a little bit. However, my strong point is definitely not C sharp programming, but luckily that happens to be Martian's strong point. So we're a good team. I'm, I'm the apprentice. I'm like the sorcerer's apprentice. God damn it. Sometimes I feel like my crowbar is the best friend I have ever had. Okay, I'm still dead. <laughs> I want a tour of Valve, but I'm in Australia. <laughs> well, I'm sure that I wouldn't be able to take any photos if I did get to go in there, but if I did, then I would take some photos like directly outside the building. <laughs> or something like that. So yeah, maybe one day we'll have a crazy idea that's just good enough for you. Oh, are you serious? 
Sick ass. These guys, as long as you like smack them and walk away right in time and you don't get those things thrown at you, then you're sometimes good. <laughs> That's an eternity for web games, pretty much how long they existed. Exactly! <laughs> I was like, Martian, take me under your wing. I want to learn how to make cartoons and animations. And he's like, well, I can show you how to make cartoons and I can teach you how to make them interactive. And why not make 3D games if you're going to go as far as to make 2D games? So that's what I've been doing. Learning, learning, learning. I've been learning for like five or six years, but that's like when I started learning how to make uh, vector art. And then in 2014, I made two Flash games thanks to Martian. I made a couple dress up games. I'm just swiping the shit out of my life like it's Tinder over here. With my crowbar. Mm, close. So yeah, and then um, only just last October, I released my first WebGL web game for um, Halloween kind of thing, and I had like uh, 3D modeled all the assets in that game, except for the pumpkin. Uh, and then I, Martian and I got to do a handful of uh, Game Jam games, so just like over the course of the weekend. What, um, but yeah, oh god. Ugh, god damn, this thing is sick. I wish it had a health bar so I could tell how close I am or I'm not to it. Ugh, when you can like hear those things like pitter pattering on the ground after you. So fucked up. Ew. Python's a good language to learn for gaming coding. Nice. That's what I heard. We were just talking about Python the other day. Yeah, in fact, uh, Java, Java is learning the same. Well, he's, I don't think he's just learning. He's like uh, competent at Unity as well. Uh, very smart. Working on his like master's uh, thesis and stuff. And genetics and also making games and stuff while he's at it. Ew. Alrighty then. Finally take a little breath. Actually made it through all that. Okay. Ooh. Let's see what did I miss anything? Save. Okay, wanna make games? One, download Unity. Two, launch Unity. Three, mess around. Four, five. Deinstall Unity. You're done. <laughs> but wait, what about when you get to over when you get to become better than Valve even? I don't think anyone's gonna become better than Valve, from what I understand. If anything, you know, uh, get to mop their floors. And I'm sticking to that story <laughs> until proven otherwise. But there's so many game developers out there. Now that it's so accessible to the common man or woman or unicorn or kitty. Uh, yeah. Everyone and their grandma's making games nowadays. I don't have any kids or grandkids, but I could technically at my age. <laughs> Yeah, I started playing games back when it was like all about the Apple II computer when I was a baby. <laughs> and then the Atari. Fuck! Help, help! God damn it. Fuck! Oh my god, am I still alive? Oh, right in the balls. I gotta get him. Like, I gotta crouch down to get him in the balls. I'm dead. <laughs> if you want, keep in touch. You think game designers of today concentrate too much on graphics and not gameplay? How about wolves? You said man, woman, unicorn, and kitty. You're right, friend. Wolves as well. Ow! And I don't think I have. I'm not gonna be able to. Oh, shit. Okay, three more. Yes. Fuck! One more. Fuck! Fuck my life. Where are you? No way! 
I'm scared. Oh, I can't even see them. Where are you? God damn it. Fuck off. Where are you? Sick ass. Alright, got him. Thank God. I guess I'll save even though we're all low on health now. <sighs> oh yeah. Most of your web games were 2D, so I've managed to make around 25 to 27 of them since 2010. Sweet, friend. Oh yeah, I got it. Uh, wait. I think I do. Oh yeah, I got I got a little shortcut for my Unity Connect as well. That's so cool, friend. I'm just trying to learn. Uh, I started working like regular job, well, like house cleaning and doing jobs when I was a little kid. I spent a lot of my teen years and like 20s working like between one and three jobs, but I always wanted to learn how to make uh, games, <laughs> cartoons, and also games. So now I'm picking up where I left off. Now that I'm an adult and I have enough time on my hands to learn new skills and stuff. Spending every waking moment making and playing games. <laughs> but I still don't usually have... I, I think that my average viewers on Twitch is six. Six average viewers at any given point. So at least no time in the near future, I doubt, will you have to worry about me having more than 25. <laughs> Maybe on the rare occasion you can watch me get flustered with like a bunch, but... Alright. I feel like I was supposed to be able to get up there somehow. Now that we got through all that. Okay, I think we missed something. How are we supposed to get up here? Oh, there. Whee! Okay. Ew, someone's having sex or something. Oh no! I hope I, I pressed save right when I thought that I powered up to 100, but I think that it might have saved immediately after I got zero. Oh, oh fuck. Seek medical attention. Alright, well, that happened. <laughs> Did you know most of the guns have a secondary fire? Is that when you press the right button? Because uh, there was a couple times when I realized that after I was out of ammo, I just like clicked the right the right button. And Martian's like, 64 kilobytes of RAM! Written in BASIC! <laughs> oh, your first game was Adventure Game on Commodore 64 and I was nine years old. Man, so cute! Did you write that on your Unity Connect, friend? Because you should mention your first game about the Commodore on there. definitely getting somewhere. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go back that way, but let's go this way first and just see what we're missing. What's over here? Yes! Good times, good times. I don't think I can get in here, can I? No. Just check it. What the hell? Thanks for that note about the secondary fire. We'll uh, try testing that next time we run out. Oh god, I get so scared. You can remember loading games via a tape. Wow. I only remember as far back as a floppy disk, but the kind that was literally floppy. <laughs> Actually, only about 39,000 available RAM on Commodore 64, once you consider the amount gobbled up just to run on the operating system. No way! No! Okay. At least we know how to get up there now, so we kill like, And we killed all the scary monsters! Alright. Now it's like fun to get up there. When those guys make those little sound effects in my ears, it's so gross. You think your first PC was already a Pentium, so yeah, I didn't get to enjoy the old floppies and tapes. 
Whee! Most people, I think, that come through on Twitch are like millennials. Is that the right word for? Where their uh, first like console was a Nintendo, like a Super Nintendo. We had like the okay. We went from the Apple II. I had three siblings, by the way. Oh wait, okay, I already got all those. Three siblings that I had to share all this stuff with. So when I was a little baby, then we had the Apple II, and then by the time I was like probably five, we had the Atari, and then we got the Nintendo. But by the time I got the Super Nintendo, that's when I had to like go to my friend's house for the Nintendo or the Sega. Who is this? Oh yeah, buddy. Ew, they're like right under me or something. Good. Good God. Seriously, some of the most disgusting noises ever. Wait, there's another ladder over there. So then we finally got a PC computer, and I think I was like 10 or something at that point. Oh my god! So when, when we had the PC computer, that's when I started to play Commander Keen. And I really got into like Tetris and Arkanoid. Tetris, Arkanoid, and Pac-Man were some of my favorite classics. But there's like cartoon animations that got me pretty pumped about learning digital art and animation. I never got good at it. Hey, look, he's got his hand on his dick, How sicko. You here, Ew. This is the wrong side of town for you. Did I not tell you to see the church? Oh, no. Mend your ways before it is too late. Saving all the time in this game. I'm ready for you. Wow. Yay. Second time I play this is gonna be way more efficient. <laughs> like the first time, like I did not realize. I didn't realize uh, that you could do this stuff. Some of these things, like. Okay. <laughs> Second run's gonna be a lot faster and stuff. You think you're? Oh yeah. Uh, some of those old Firebird Adventure, Firebird Adventure games would load each scene entirely from disc. Hold on. <laughs> he had to run. Ew! 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 Fuck. Ugh, god damn, I want to make a sound effect package of sounds like that. One day when it's clear that our little neighbors are at work, I want to make a sound effect package of me like snarling and dying like this. Okay, wait. Okay, Firebird Adventure Games would load each scene entirely from disc, everything you change rooms. I've seen ZX Spectrum, Spectrum in action. I think it was goblins or something like that. Pixel hunting adventure. Yes! I still play some old games, need to download a program called DOSBox. I heard about that. To run them on a modern PC. Uh, old adventure games are great. Okay, there's no more predators around here. Uh, there's a site that I went to for Commander Keen, and it had like a bunch of- it was like a DOSBox type of browser site. I forget the exact name of it, it's like DOS something or other. But uh, it had a lot of browser games on there. Uh, let me see if I can find it actually. Okay. At first I didn't even have a tape drive, nor a budget to afford games, so I played a game I stole- uh, Commodore 64 magazine from the store and typed in every line of code for some games they provided stores in the index. We had a lot of time back then in the days. <laughs> no mobile games to distract us. Books, radio, and a lot of imagination. Uh, let me see here if I can find this. Oh, here. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh, this was, um, okay, this was like music and games, but Commander Keen, all the Commander Keens are on here, almost all of them. Somehow, the video games were the most fascinating thing in the world to me. Probably because it was so different, despite how much effort required to play them. Same goes, same holds true for this, today's day and age. Fuck off, turkeys. <laughs> Turkey crabs. Where are you, asshole? Ew, ew, ew. Ew, they're all hiding behind the boxes just like they would be like if they were in your attic or something. When they lunge towards you like that, they're a lot more dangerous. Especially if they're thrown at you by one of those sick fucks. The standing sick fucks. Look at the doorknobs are like ever so slightly obvious that you can open them. Oh my god, it's so scary. Oh, what? Wait. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? They sound like E.T. We got a lot of ammo now. What are we waiting for? That one reminds me of alien isolation a little bit. Ew. Oh, no way. I did not just fucking fall on the ground. Not only is it probably the most dangerous place in the world right now, but it's like... Oh. Seriously? Ew, look at how many are on him. No wonder there's such a problem with those guys. There's so many. Oh my god. Ew, 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 ew. Ew, 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 ew. I was gonna like hyperventilate in the corner over here for a second. Hi, kitty. Hi, so sweet. Kitty's being cute. The magic is still there, it's just a whole other dimensionality to it now. Now the challenge is dealing with the insane amount of time and cost it takes to create something worth gaining attention. But I think it still comes down to the original spirit of the thing. Kitty! Alright, friends. It's almost 7 in the morning. <laughs> like, we're night owls, but this is really pushing it. So probably gonna go for a little bit longer here and then take a pause. But it's a weekend, so we'll probably play a bunch. And it's Christmas weekend. So I'll probably be playing as much as possible. I got a new computer and stuff. So, new gaming laptop, and really looking forward to playing more variety of games on my channel and stuff, but I am going to play all the way through this, but I might take turns uh, playing different games. Uh, I started Assassin's Creed Origins recently, so I do want to play that. Are you fucking serious? So gross. So I do want to work towards finishing Assassin's Creed Origins as well as Half-Life 2. But I promise not to take too long of a break anymore because I started this game and then I took like a two week long break and then I had to like ah, memorize are. some of the controls again. I will send the cart for you brother, it will be but a moment. Patience brother. You're burnt out for the time being? Well. What's your favorite uh, software to make games in auto? Is it still Flash? Oops. I can hear them. Where are they? Ew. Whoa, look. Whoa, no way. You see how that thing was like... Where? Fuck, I was seriously reloading at a time like this. <laughs> Wow, the way he was like walking up that uh, tube or whatever. Ew, the way it does that when they crawl up it. Ew. 
seriously going to make me puke, man. The best kind of effect is making someone want to puke. Fuck, man. God, God damn it. Definitely scared. I can't take this any longer. Fuck you. Wow, this is really good for taking out your anger management. Oh my god. Thank god. Cam, no, I'm ready. I'm in the cart, friend. The handbrake, brother. Release it and come down. Okay. Oh, finally, we're here to our friend. Oh my goodness. Unity the whole year now. Sweet. Hey, at least we're on the same software. I would love to play some of your games sometime. For the dead know no sleep in their graves. Or dost thou remember them until they are destroyed to thy hand? Oh my goodness. So stressful yet so awesome. <clears throat> it's still cool when you get to play something that was just in your head. <laughs> Uh, wait. I think it. Oh, the original spirit of the thing. Create experiences and be amazed at our creations and the power of computers. Of computers. To bring art forms together in novel ways. And it's like the ultimate realization. Kitty! Oh. I still want to make a game for the cat. May their paths become dark and slippery, and may the angel of the Lord afflict them. Greetings, brother. Uh, and so we meet greetings. at last. You are to be commended Finally. for avoiding my traps. <laughs> the work of a man who once had too much time on his hands and now finds time for nothing but the work Oh yeah, which of which game was yours, friend? Sorry, I, I forgot. <laughs> you have little wish to remain in Raven. What was the name so of your game? I will Sorry. You to the mines. As for me, the shepherd well, must tend to his flock. Sounds like you got far more than I need to try to. Grown, <laughs> unruly. Follow me, brother, and tread lightly. Sorry, at this, this hour, sometimes my brain... Ground. Sometimes uh, details, I'll like, forget certain details. <laughs> Which one was yours, friend? I already forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, the one where you pick up passengers and drive an endless road. That's right. Cool. It was like Crazy Taxi 2.0. That's right. That was really cute. I remember now. Thanks for uh, refreshing my memory. Oh, hey, get off my friend. Get off my friend. Leave him alone. Fuck off. Oh my god. Stay close to me, brother. Where are you? He's all careful. Oh, he's all careful about getting off of this little ledge. Aim for the head. Where? Yes, friends, two at once. Yes. This is the coolest weapons. <laughs> Definitely not my child. I seriously just did that after all that. The grave holds nothing worse for you. I thought I, I thought I killed myself. Luckily we didn't kill ourselves. Oh shit. Come to the light. Come to daddy. Woe to me. I want some more of those uh saws. <laughs> That's my favorite. It is not me you want, but the light that shines through me. I remember your true face. You plan to apply the same thing to a slightly different thing. 
Cool. Well, let me know if we can be of help in any way. Sounds like you definitely got your shit together. You, you're already a master of what you do. But I would sure love to help with like voice acting or any other way I can help promote it. Maybe whenever you come out with a new game, I'll, I'll help in any way I can. Okay. Noise! Hey, I wanted to do that, but I'm glad someone did. God damn it. Be free, my child. <laughs> Be free, my child. <laughs> Gross. Wow, they're still they're still alive in there. Badass cemetery, if I do say so myself. Need to get back in the working mood. If I don't have 3D assets, I can 3D, but I'm awfully ineffective at it. I could think of some ways to interact with you. Yeah, that'd be great, friend, and I could even stream uh, 3D modeling, and we can talk about the game while we're streaming. Or if you're not there, I can talk about the game that I'm modeling it for and like help promote it while while it's in its creation, or I don't know. I know it's, it's really fun when I get to 3D model stuff that Martian uses in his games, but... Um, yeah, I made the cow and cow defender and soccer cows. I made like an airplane hanger one time in a barn. So, some of my little uh, 3D assets. Oh, yes, there was that secondary ammo, I guess. Luckily, our friend seems to be invincible. Why is this thing after me and only me? I should have waited to blow up those. Uh... He's like going after my friend. All right. Ew! That only worked on one of them. Ew! Oh my god! That did not even get them. Here we go. Fuck, control, control, control. Okay. Onward to the mines. Onward! Onward ho. Farewell, brother. I fear I deliver you to a darker place. May the light of lights illuminate your path. There's nothing over here. Okay, just checking. <laughs> I was curious what was over there. Oh my god, good luck to my own salvation. Something tells me we're screwed. Hell yeah, this music. <laughs> awesome. Oh my god. Oops. Finally, some peace and quiet. Oh, this is a good spot for a break. Okay, thanks, friend. Yeah, I'm ready for a little snack and a little nap and pet the kitty who's been sitting right beside me, but my hands are occupied. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and that marks our break. <laughs> Congrats with beating this hell of a level. Thanks, friend! Damn, this is freaking awesome. Alright, well, let's see how long we've been going for. Yay! Alright, well we have saved. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find someone who is streaming the same game. <clears throat> Looks like we have been streaming for almost three hours, so only a slightly lazy stream. Not exactly lazy, but you know. Um, let's see, following Half-Life 2. <clears throat> Ooh, Rift Tracks. You guys want to watch Rift Tracks with us? 
they're always on, so maybe I could like host them until <laughs> until we wake up tomorrow. Normally, I would not host uh, something so popular. <laughs> I would usually try to host some. Well, I don't know. Maybe do you guys like roof tracks? Okay, <laughs> we'll probably be in the chat at least like watching this for an hour before bed. Cool. Thank you very much, friends. I really appreciate you hanging out and stuff. And if anyone happens to be here that you know want to stay in touch, there's all my little social links and stuff. Um, yeah. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.